Injuries finally caught up to the men's basketball team at Jackson State University as they fell to Prairie View by a score of 71 to 62. Okay. So we're going to get into this, and I'm going to explain to y'all what I mean. Okay. But before I do, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. I am your homeboy first, and this is the realest. Most entertaining show in the game. Put it on some. Again, hit that uh, subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that share button. Put all your people on. Also, fuck with our uh, sponsor, the King McNeil Collection. Okay. For all of your uh, fraternity and sorority needs, uh, they are number one, number one in the industry. Okay. Uh, you can go to kingmcneil.com or you can download the app. Okay. Your first purchase on the app will get you 20% off, okay? And like I said during my uh, segment on the women's team, shout out to all the young people that came through that thing yesterday, all the fraternities and sororities. Saw y'all doing y'all thing. Love to see y'all doing y'all thing, you feel me? Uh, love our culture as black people, you feel me? And I love seeing y'all uh, do that because y'all are a major part of the culture, you feel me? So shout out. Shout out to y'all. So definitely, if any of y'all need any fraternity or sorority gear, go to the King McNeil Collection. Tell them first sent you. All right, but let's get into it, y'all. Okay, so we suffered our first loss in the SWAC so far, okay? It was an unfortunate loss, but it was one that honestly I knew was coming just due to the fact that we are dealing with two uh, major injuries, one to Mr. Mansell, one to uh, Mr. Ruffin. OK, uh, and, and given that fact, our young men are, are are having to log some heavy, heavy minutes. You understand me? Take a look at what I'm talking about. All right. Ken Evans Jr. Played 39 minutes yesterday. OK. Colter Young played 36 minutes. Uh, Chase Adams, 35 minutes. J.O. 35 minutes. Zeke Cook, only 26 minutes, but that's because he fouled out on some bullshit. So that's the other thing. The refs were on some bullshit. Now, you might say, well, first, I looked at the box score and uh, 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 the, the fouls, well, y'all had fewer fouls than them. They called fewer fouls on y'all than they uh, called on them. They called 18 fouls on Prairie View. They called 15 on y'all. I'm telling y'all right, God, God damn, now they could have they could have called 30 on Prairie View. They could have called 30. Because that game was very, very fucking physical. Very physical. And a lot of the contact was being let go. It really was, okay? Which, if that's the way we're going to play it, fine. If that's the way we're going to play it, cool. But given the fact that we are uh, outmanned right now. And playing in a chippy game like that, and most of our games have been chippy, but playing in a very physical game like that and not having the depth to be able to sustain sustain that, you know, to my that, that hurt us. That hurt us, all right? Uh, and our shooting was horrible, okay? So – you put all that shit together and you get the loss. And the, and the game still was close. I know we, we lost by nine, but shit, I want to say we were, were within like six or something like that. Within like, or with like a minute and a half, two minutes to go, something like that. Might have been a minute, some. But I mean, I've seen shit like that. You know, I've seen teams come back from those deficits. So this was a very close, close game. All right, but like I said, we did not shoot well. I can't care about that. We only shot 38.5% uh, from the field, okay, uh, compared to their 42.9%. So they ain't just lighted up, but we we definitely – you under 40% from the field. That That's that's awful, okay. Uh, we shot 23.5% from Trey Ball. They shot 22% from Trey Ball. So they ain't lighted up, like I said, but we, we, we just didn't shoot well, okay. And we're at home, so we, we expect that we will do better than that at home, okay. Uh, free throw line was was awful. Like, okay, sixty four percent, eighteen out of twenty eight to there's uh, seventy seven percent, thirteen out of seventeen. Rebounds were pretty steady. Uh, thirty eight boards to their thirty seven. We they had thirteen offensive boards. We had twelve. Uh, assists we had twelve. They had nine. 
Uh, we lost the turnover battle, unfortunately. Uh, we had 17 turnovers to the 11. Okay, so that definitely hurt us. Uh, but a lot of the shit I'm saying, oh, and, and paint points. They had 40 paint points out of 26. Okay. And so that, that was big. But a lot of the stuff that I'm talking about, y'all, fatigue plays a role in it. Fatigue plays a role in your shooting. Okay. If you are tired, I don't give a fuck how wet you are. That, that's one of the most impressive things about Steph. As much running around he does and still able to shoot the percentage that he shoots, that shows you he, he this motherfucker's cardiovascular system is, is amazing. Okay. His endurance level is amazing because when you get tired, your ass going to start, start to, to miss. Okay. So that's going to affect your shoe. Uh, it's going to affect you in the paint because it's going to affect you uh, driving to the paint. It's going to affect you crashing the glass to get offensive boards and then get those easy putbacks in the paint. You know what I'm talking about? So uh, uh, it'll make you make uh, uh, careless turnovers. We lost turnover battle. So fatigue is a huge thing, and that's something that our guys uh, are battling because we've been logging some heavy, heavy minutes. You feel me? Uh, for some individual numbers for you. Uh, like I said, Zeke Cook only played 26 minutes due to foul trouble and eventually fouling out. But in those 26 minutes, the man had 12 boards. Five offensive boards, seven defensive boards. But I'm telling you, when he was getting them offensive boards, they were goddamn, it was WWE in that bitch. They were clotheslining this motherfucker up in there, and we were not getting the call. Okay? Somebody might say I'm exactly. I watched the game. I was in the motherfucking building. Okay? And that's what was happening. I told you, it got to be a grease for me to talk about it because, uh, you know, the refs, you can't control the refs. But this shit was crazy. The man was literally getting his ass whooped in there, all right, when he was pulling some of these boards. We weren't getting a call, okay? But eventually he he fouled out, all right? But he gave us 12 po points, gave us seven, uh, excuse me, gave us 12 boards, seven points, uh, one assist, one block. J.O. had 21 points, okay? He had 21 points. Didn't have that many FGAs, though. He was six of nine. That's great. Uh, not Only nine of 14 from the free throw line. But he gave us 21 and 10. Okay? So he had a great individual game, but not enough FGAs, uh, in my opinion. And maybe that was Prayer View's uh, game plan to try to limit uh, his touches and limit his shot attempts. Because J.O., like I keep telling y'all, he just knows how to play basketball 21 point 10 boards one assist two steals three blocks i mean great game we wasted a great game from him okay uh chase had a rough one chase had a rough one he was he had two points only one of seven uh from the field three boards six assists uh one steal three turnovers so still two to one uh uh assist to turnover ratio okay but i know he would like you know, to shoot better than one of one of seven from the field. And he had a few that he normally makes. Uh a few little mid middies. He has a nice little mid-range game, uh, particularly for his size, you know, to my uh but uh, I don't know. Only they and they probably wouldn't admit this, especially during the season. Only they can tell us how all these minutes are affecting, you know, uh, affecting them truly. Okay. Colty uh had only six points. On two of six shoes, so not that many FJAs for him either. He was two of five from three ball, though, okay, which that's 40%, which is good. But, again, not that many attempts. They seemed like they were face guarding him uh, the whole night, uh, trying to stick with him, stay attached to him. They, they, of course, everybody in the SWAC knows that he's our shooter. All right, so he, uh, they're probably going to play him like that uh, throughout the year, you know what I'm talking about. And so, uh, we just got to do a better job in trying to get him those looks. And, you know, Coach Mo usually does do that, I right? uh, running him off screens and all that kind of stuff. But, again, that's tiring hell. So, you know, hopefully our guys are getting off of their feet uh, when they're not at practice or when they're you know, not having to play and getting some rest and everything like that because they damn sure going to need it. But Coach had 6.3 boards, uh, one block. Uh, Ken Evans Jr. had 19. On six of twelve shoot, okay. So in those thirty nine minutes, um, you know he still shot the ball well, two or five from three ball. So that's forty uh, forty percent just like culture. So that was good. Five or seven from three point. I mean free throw line, pretty good. And uh, three boards, one assist, one steal, one block. Okay, 
but 12 attempts. Okay, so it, it's like they try to limit our guys' attempts uh, for real, for real, our main shooters, Colty, J.O., Ken, our main scorers, I should say, uh, just trying to limit their attempts and then live with everything else. You feel me? They did a great job of that, you know. They were getting away with some chippiness, uh, with some very physical play. And shit, if the ref's going to let you do it, you, you play that way. I get that. I get that. But I'm just saying, when we lack depth, uh, that, that hurts us. All right. Uh, Mr. Johnson off the bench gave us 13 minutes. Gave us five points, four boards. Mr. Cornelius, Mr. Cornelius, excuse me, gave us two points. Okay, Mr. Hunt also gave us five minutes, and in those five minutes, he got an assist. Okay, but you see what I'm saying? There's a big difference between uh, the men's team and the women's team uh, when it comes to uh, production off of the bench. You know, to my, you have somebody come off your bench with the women's team, like uh, Miss Breland. Who come out there can really handle the ball for you and do some things. You can come off the bench with a Miss Layla Walker and still have you some size. You can come off the bench with a Miss Pratchett and still have you some size and some versatility. You can come off the bench with Miss Avent, you know, to still have somebody who can create uh, her own shot. You feel me? So it's just different. All right. And, and even with stick with this particular game, look at what Prayer View did. Prayer View, they played uh, nine guys to us playing eight guys but one of their guys off of their bench played 38 minutes another guy off their bench gave them 26 minutes you feel me like so they were able to get some guys to come off their bench and really log some heavy minutes you know to my meanwhile they had two starters play 11 minutes and 11 minutes respectively you feel me um they did have one young man he went for 38 minutes mr smith the fourth um yeah, uh, he, he just got to be their guy, you know, because he had he went six of 19 for 17 points. You feel me? So, really, we played good defense on him, made him work real hard. That's a terrible percentage, you feel me? But I'm just talking about how they had other guys that could come in and carry some of that load uh, uh, for them, you know, and that, that's just going to be a battle. Mr. Mansell's not coming back, Mr. Ruff is not coming back this year. So, again, our guys just got to eat right. Get some sleep, uh, get off of their feet, you know, until I get some treatment. Ice, 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 ice is your friend, young men. Okay, I don't give a fuck if you feel good, you know, until I make sure you're icing up and treating your body right. As I used to tell my players, <laughs> y'all are like some strippers, you make money off your body, you feel me? So, you got to take care of that, motherfucker, you understand? So, make sure y'all doing that. We look forward to y'all bouncing back. All right, we got Texas Southern next um, on Monday at the AAC, and then on Saturday we will be out there uh, in Florida at Bethune-Cookman. So make sure y'all fucking with the men's program as we look to bounce back. All right, put it on some. Please subscribe to my daddy's YouTube channel because the more subscribers he gets, the more attractive he looks to sponsors. The more attractive he looks to sponsors, the more money he can make. And the more money he can make, the more money he can spend on me.